Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the 25 bookish facts tag video. Uh, I haven't been tagged by anyone, but I also feel like it's one of those tags that everyone finished by saying, and I tag everyone. Well, everyone, I'm taking you up on your offer and doing the tag. So let's begin. Fact number one is when I'm tired, I like to read comics. They give me a sense of accomplishment in times when I don't feel like accomplishing anything. Fact number two, I go through strange phases where I'm obsessed with one particular topic and get all sorts of books on that subject. For instance, I went through a bit of a castle phase. Look at my all my castle books. Castles, knights, castle cross section. Fact number three, when I really like an author, I read all sorts of interviews by them and try to discover what books and authors they really liked. And in such a way, favorite authors become almost like cultural tour guides for me. Uh, for instance, uh, Jonathan Lethem is the author who introduced me to writers such as Philip K. Dick and Patricia Highsmith. Fact number four, when I was a student, I used to annotate my books all the time. Now I don't do that so much. Um, I do regularly annotate when I read nonfiction though. Fact number five, I generally don't like to put books down before finishing them. Uh, but I seem to do this a lot with nonfiction and history books. Though I'm really, I'm always drawn to these books. I think they're so cool, but I never seem to finish them. For instance, I have yet to finish SPQR or The History of Venice. I don't read with my glasses. I'm short-sighted. I like reading on public transport only when I get a place to sit. I don't like standing and reading. The majority of the time I read on my bed, uh, surrounded by pillows and a mug of tea. When I lend books to people, I always expect to get those books back and will break any social etiquette and demand for the book to be returned in a matter of months. That said, I don't really like returning books people lend to me. I love cheap mass market paperbacks and I'm sad that I can't get them in the UK. I take too many books with me on vacation. When I was 17, I joined an old ladies book club and we all read uh, James Joyce's Ulysses together. I read Heart of Darkness, Great Gatsby, Catch in the Rye, and Lolita all about four times each. For the most part, I'm not very good at keeping track of the amount of books I own or have read. I want to write a novel in at least every genre. If I have to use multiple pen names, I would like to do it the way Ian Banks did it, which is basically he wrote books under the name Ian Banks, and then he wrote intergalactic space opera under Ian M. Banks, which is sort of like uh, a half-baked pseudonym, which is just putting your middle initial uh, between your names, which I think is pretty cool. So I'll have books by Jacob Tanner and then Jacob S. Tanner. I've read all of Jane Austen's novels, and my favorite is the obvious one, Pride and Prejudice. I've met George R. R. Martin, and he got upset at me for not having read any Jack Vance. I've met J.K. Rowling when I was younger. My mom entered us into a contest to see her read from the final Harry Potter book. And I remember when she told me she entered this contest, I was sort of like a snotty teenager and was just like, yeah, whatever, mom, leave me alone. And then a few weeks later, my mom was like, Jacob, we won the contest. And I was like, what? I once went to see a famous writer giving a talk and I waited in line uh, at the signing to give him a short story of mine that I wanted to, him to read and to hear what he thought. And my heart was pumping when I did it. I'm so happy I did it, but I never heard back from him. I have an old beat up copy of the collected works of Shakespeare that I sometimes use as a doorstop. Sometimes books are the basis for a lot of my experience. Like when I visited Venice, I, I couldn't stop thinking about how it reminded me of the city of Camor, the setting for Lies of Locke Lamora. I haven't read as much Canadian literature as I th feel like I should. I can't walk into a bookstore and not buy anything. Problem is, I work in one. Anyways, that was the tag. And in case some of you have not done this tag yet, uh, please feel free to do it. I've tagged you now. If you like this video, please like it. And if you really like this video, please subscribe. Until next time, happy reading. Bye bye bye.